Hello guys, welcome back. This is a six step and a six video for making an infrared controlled car using Arduino board. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to wire breadboard with Arduino board to a motor uh, in a motor driver. Uh, I see we are not using basically a motor driver. We are using a motor driver RC. So I I think you must be knowing that what are the various parts of motor driver if you can. If you can see this motor driver, this is the upside, this is the downside, and if we say this is enable one, this is input two, then same, then output one, ground, then again ground, then output two, input two, and VCC one. Similarly, same in this side we have VCC two, input four, output ground, ground, output three input 3 and enable 2 we will also regard these pins pins as uh, pin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and these then from this side is 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 okay so now i'm going to show you how to wire this so first we have to connect pin 1 9 and 16 so pin 1 is this one 9 is this one and 16 is this one to the 5 volts so now using breadboard using some male jumper wires i'm going to do so so i will just pick out three jumper wires and two more to connect the adreno so first I'm going to put these two in the 5 volts and ground of the Adreno board. Okay. So the yellow wire is of 5 volts and green is of ground. So I'm going to put the ground in this one and 5 volts in the other one. You can see like this. Okay quite visible now these three wires again we have to use 5 volts so these three all three wires in this line uh, I suppose you know how to use a breadboard so if this is a 5 volts then hold this line will be a 5 volts this is ground so hold this line will be a ground and in this if this is VCC1 so all this will be VCC1 okay okay so I have plugged it in like this now we have to you put four pin matlab, uh, I mean the four five uh, I suppose four five then 12 and 13 basically all ground pins to the ground of Adreno board so we will take four more jumper wires okay so we have also attached these wires i think you can see it properly 4 5 12 13 1 16 and 9 so i will again repeat 4 5 and 12 13 to the ground as i place it in the ground and 1 9 and 16 to the 5 volts now pin 3 and 6 on the right motor it means output of this side basically output of this side to these side motors and output of this side to the these side motors so as I told you I am again going to use a jumper wires I have as I have already placed the female jumper wires here so it, it is going to, it will be easy to att attach so I am just going to wire that Okay friends, I come up with a new type of or new thinking because that wiring was a little confusing. I just take 8 8 mil to mil jumper wires plug in and direct and this uh, wiring going to be the same. 
just I'm telling you the easy, easy way uh, okay because that would be a little difficult to understand and I just plug in all three in this way now this is this is 5 volts this is ground and this is 5 volts this is ground okay so and now I am going to show the uh, how to connect the motors so the third you know the if you can watch the wires the wire which is connected to the third and the sixth is these so I'm going to connect these to the motors uh, and from this side I'm also going to connect the other two the other two output channels which which are 14 and 11 so just wait and okay friends so I have also wired the motors uh, this video is getting very long uh, could be but it's also the most important we can see using the female adapters and male wires I have connected this and these motors uh, if you want specification I have connected uh, in the left side I have connected port 3 with the positive and port 6 with the black on the left side I have connected port 11 yeah port 11 with the positive and port 14 with the negative of the motors okay now going to the further we are going to connect the wires to Adreno's digital pin which will give us the input so now we have to connect now we have to connect pin 2 and 7 from left motor to pin 9 and 8 of Adreno, Adreno board, uh, digital pin of 9 and 8. Okay, so pin 2 and 7. Now, this is going to be a little hard as the getting the wire out is a little difficult. So, let's just do it. Uh, I must say once again, if you didn't get the step, please rewind the video and check because if you did a single mistake, your bot is not going to work. So, rewind and check the all pins are, are in correct position because the pins should be in the correct position okay guys we have wired up the bot so as I told you we have connected pin 10 of this side to pin 10 pin 14 to pin 11 pin 3 to pin 8 and pin 9 sorry pin 7 to pin 9 here you can see I have connected it okay so pin 9 is pin 7 wire pin 3rd wire to pin 8 is going here then this is pin 14 wire and this is pin 10 wire which are going are connected to pin 11 and 10 respectively so if now you if you have wired it all correct you can see only one wire is left from the bot from the motor driver now this is to be connected to your battery if you are using a 12 volt battery connected to the 12 volt battery positive terminal and the negative terminal goes to the ground wire of the Adreno and if you are using any other battery just connect that just connect this this is basically your pin 8 uh, 